Tax deductions can be a huge money saver if you know what they are, how they work, and in what situation to utilize them. But unfortunately, I see so many business owners have a lack of knowledge when it comes to how tax deductions apply to business expenses. The confusion lies in how much money you can actually get back from these expenses. As a business, you can only receive a portion of the tax amount back, which is usually 25% for companies. Now, don't get us wrong, tax deductions can be a significant savings tool, and this guide covers an extensive list of options for you to consider. But before you start spending money left, right, and center, it's important for you to know if your expenses are necessary for your business. In this video, I'll guide you through the world of tax deductions and provide you with a cheat sheet to help you identify potential savings for your business. Let's get stuck into what you came for. Your first eligible tax deduction is mobile phone cost. You can claim a business use percentage of your mobile phone as a tax deduction, but you need to keep a journal for at least four weeks and then note how much time you spend using the phone for business purposes. From here, you can calculate the percentage of business use and you might not be able to claim this expense if your employer provides you with a separate work phone. Number two, work-related insurance premiums. In most cases, especially if your business employs staff, you'll need to take out a range of business insurances premiums such as workers' compensation, public liability, and asset insurance. The ATO allows business owners to claim the insurance costs related to protecting business assets as a tax deduction. Common insurance tax deductions include premium for cars, buildings, or liability insurance. If you want to understand more about business insurances, we have created a video on this topic, so make sure to check it out here. Number three is internet expenses. Similar to claiming a deduction for your phone cost, if you can calculate the percentage that reasonably relates to work use, you can claim a portion of that for internet usage. To claim more than $50, you'll need to keep records for a four-week representative period in each income year. Your fourth eligible tax deduction is registration, licenses, and subscription fees. You're allowed to claim any periodical subscription fees that you incur as part of running your business. For example, if you use an accounting software such as Xero or MYOB, the expenses of running that software will be tax deductible. Number five is self-education expenses. Now, this is a tricky one. Self-education expenses refer to the cost that you incur while studying on your own to improve your knowledge and skills in the current field of work or to acquire the new skills and make them more employable. So let's say you're a graphic designer who wants to learn how to use a new software program to make work more efficient. The cost of purchasing that software will be considered a self-education expense. If your self-education relates to your work activities, you may claim a tax deduction on this expense. Deduction number six is for tools and equipment. If you buy equipment or tools for specific purposes, you can usually claim deductions for those costs straight away. And if the value of the item exceeds $300, you can also submit a depreciation claim for a decline in its value. The seventh deduction is my favorite one, and this is tax preparation fees. If you're feeling overwhelmed by your tax obligations and you need some help, you can hire me, a tax agent, to guide you through the process. And the good news is you can claim the fees you pay for their services as a tax deduction. Just to make sure you keep a record of the invoice or other evidence of the cost you incurred so you can support your deduction claim. Number eight is for work-related clothing expenses. If you provide uniforms to your staff and incur laundry expenses on their behalf, you can claim a tax deduction for these expenses. But the ATO has pretty specific requirements for this claim. So you need to provide written evidence for the uniform purchase and a representative period for one of the cleaning costs. If you are claiming an amount greater than $150 and your claim for work-related expenses exceeds $300. Number nine relates to charity expenses. If you donate more than $2 to a deductible gift recipient organization, you can claim a deduction for it. This is a good incentive to do a bit 
for your community. And number 10 is home office expenses. If you regularly work from home, you can claim based on running expenses, equipment, or occupancy expenses. We've done another video that gives you more details on this claim, so check that out. And guess what? The list doesn't end there. There are some other deductions that you can claim, which you might not have thought of. And these include vehicle and business travel expenses, bad debts as long as you follow all the ATO steps before writing off the bad debt, marketing costs, fringe benefit tax, non-entertainment gifts that have a value of less than $300, loan and mortgage interest, sunscreen or makeup. This is a weird one, but it's on the list if your job requires it. And lastly, general ongoing operational expenses like bank fees and charges, waste removal, utility expenses, transport and freight, rental or leasing expenses. So there you have it. This video was just to give you an idea of how many tax deductions you can actually claim. It doesn't necessarily cover everything specific to your business, but I hope there is something on here that you may not have considered a potential tax deductible claim. One more thing before I sign off. It's important to remember that you need to keep records of all your expenses. The ATO is becoming increasingly focused on cracking down incorrect claims. If you're uncertain about a particular claim, we always recommend to speak to a qualified accountant to get professional advice. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. We'll see you next time.